So, this is my review of the Magnificent Seven, the 4K HDR version of the movie. Now, I'm going to do a little something different. I'm not going to do a comparison of the Blu-ray to the 4K as I generally do, because honestly, um, they're both spectacular transfers. Um, the 4K version is a 2K intermediate that was upscaled, and like Angels and Demons, for instance, they've done a spectacular job with it. It it looks incredible. Definitely, um, it's it's uh, whether you pick it up in Blu-ray or 4K, it's it's you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, if you have a 4K TV and a 4K player, I would definitely recommend picking it up in 4K, and you get both anyway. So if you want to watch it in another room or you want to lend it to a friend, whatever, give it to somebody. Um, you get both of those things. Now, what really strikes me more about this movie is um, I own the Magnificent, or sorry, the Seven Samurai, the Magnificent Seven remake with Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, and now um, this one. And just like movies um, like I Am Legend, which was originally the, the Last Man on Earth, I think it was called, and then The Omega Man with Charlton Heston, and then I Am Legend. The movies are always kind of like a microcosm of the time they were made in, in that the sensibilities are very different, the presentation's different, the level of violence, the depth of the story, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Um, the original Seven Samurai by Kurosawa is a classic. Um, if you, uh, he also made Wrong, if you haven't seen that, which uh, is a remake of King Lear, or I guess, yeah, Wrong would have been a remake of King Lear. A great film. Seven Samurai is a great film, more of a gripping story though where you get more depth into the characters. It's a very serious film. The What you're looking at right now, for instance, The Magnificent Seven, the remake with Yul Brenner, is more of a light-hearted kind of western for those times. It does have a lot of action in it at times, but it's, you know, the violence isn't very over the top. There isn't a lot of gore. Somebody gets shot, you just kind of see them spin and fall down. You know, it's not, uh, and I, I found you never really came to care about the characters as much. It was more of um, just just a story. You know, there were probably three main characters you got to know a little bit and add a little bit of sort of understanding of who they were, but of the other four cowboys involved, you never really got to know them too much, so I did find there was a lot invested in them, and the movie seemed to go by very quickly, and it was just a very simplified kind of story. This remake, uh, directed by Antoine Farquhar, um, it's directed a number of movies, including a movie I really want to see called Southpaw, is very much the kind of movie we would want to see today. I'm a big fan of westerns. Um, my favorite is, I think, the best western ever made is The Unforgiven. I grew up, my dad was a big Eastwood fan, Charles Bronson, Steve McQueen, that kind of thing, so I saw a lot of them as, ki as a kid. Um, Good, Bad, The Ugly is one of my favorites, Fistful of Dollars for a few dollars more. I do have the Magnificent Seven, uh, like the four pack, the collection, and, but I've never seen any of them. And so I watched this the other night in anticipation of the Magnificent Seven 4K coming out. And this is a good western. It's not the good and the bad and the ugly. It's not the Unforgiven. Um, but it's, it, it really does hold its own. It has a pretty good cast and it's, it's, uh, it's done well. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick look at... Um, just how the films are really different in the way they're, they're portrayed. The, the 4K version does have its share of violence, but it's, it's, and it's a PG-13 film, but it really pushes the boundaries of that. So we're looking here at the Blu-ray for, um, the Blu-ray for the Magnificent Seven, uh, the Yul Brenner version, and um, just give you a uh, quick look at that first. You're a man we can trust. Thank you very much. We wish you to help us. There's this man, Calvera. A thief, a murderer. He and his men, they steal our food, and then they leave us to starve. Not only that, but our women. Oh, wait, wait, just a minute. If you need protection, why don't you go to the Rurales? We did, twice. But they can't station men in a small village for who knows how long. So they left. And when they left, 
He came again, Calvera, and every year since. And he will do so until he is stopped. Sit down. We need help. We must buy guns. We know nothing about them. Will you buy guns for us? Guns are very expensive and hard to get. Why don't you hire men? Men? Gunmen. Nowadays men are cheaper than guns. Will you go? It will be a blessing if you came to help us. Sorry, I'm not in the blessing business. So, that's the, uh, the, the remake, um, this, this first remake. Um, and so we'll take a, jump over and take a quick look at the Blu-ray version, sorry, the 4K Blu-ray version. Very different film. Very different tone. You intend to make me chase. I have a proposition. And I'm wary of propositions, miss. Mrs. I'm not sure if my friend filled you in on the details. Enough of them. Then why won't you at least listen? We're simple farmers. Decent, hard-working people being driven from our homes. Men slaughtered in cold blood. Women and children without food or essentials. All because some man named Bo wants to mine our valley and take it from us. Bartholomew Bo. You know him? Heard the name. What's this? Everything we have. It's what it's worth to us. Been offered a lot for my work, but never everything. That man murdered my husband. Killed him dead in the middle of the street. Now, picture quality wise, this film, out of a five, I would give it, uh, hmm. I would give it a 4, 4.5. It is really well done. It's beautiful, great handling of the HDR. It isn't a movie that's, you know, like an animated film that's just kind of got color popping all over the place. And being a Western, there are a lot of, you know, browns and, you know, patches of green and, you know, you know uh, worn out woods and that kind of thing. But it does look really good and it does a great job of actually handling the shadow and giving the picture more detail. And there is more variation of color than I saw in the Blu-ray and just more detail, obviously, because you're getting twice the, the number of pixels or perceived pixels. Um, the movie itself, out of a five, this is a great movie. This, I was really concerned it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be a good transfer, but I also thought it would do well just because sometimes when you remake films, if they're done well, they're better. And this film has more depth than the second film. It's more... Uh, has more of a serious tone, but you know, with guys like Chris Pratt in it, you know there's going to be a lot of lighthearted um, sort of uh, areas of the film. But film-wise, it's definitely I would give it a I'd give it a four point five out of five. It's definitely a good film. Um, and audio-wise, it's spectacular. Audio-wise, um, definitely worth picking up. I didn't check to see if it has an Atmos uh, soundtrack or not. Part of the reason is I don't have Atmos, so it, that doesn't really matter to me. I want to run a 7.1 setup, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I would definitely recommend this film if you're a fan of Westerns or just a fan, a fan of good movies. Um, and yeah, so if anybody's been considering it, definitely, definitely, definitely thumbs up. Um, so let me know what you think. I'll try to answer whatever questions I have. Let me know if there's anything else you've seen that uh, you'd recommend. I've, I've do, I have picked up um, a few others as well, so I'll try to get around to those at some point. But, uh, you know, if I don't uh, make another video, much love to all of you. Thank you for those that have subscribed and liked, and I hope you have an incredible new year. Take care.